Hey guys, welcome back to another vlog. Feeling good, feeling great today. I am currently 37 weeks officially today, so time is coming really, really close, okay? You guys saw me using my exercise ball this morning. Literally, I try to do it daily now, especially coming down to the end. But because we're coming so close, I'm gonna set up the bassinet today. You guys know I have the Halo Swivel bassinet, so that's what we're gonna be doing in this vlog. I'm pretty much setting up my bedside nursery, to be honest. So I'm doing the diaper caddy, postpartum basket, this bassinet, and oh, I'm setting up the diaper genie as well today. So yeah, this is what I'm gonna do today. This is gonna be my last week of actually prepping for the baby. I'm gonna try to do everything today. Anything else I do will be like house related, like cleaning up the house and enjoying my last little bit of time by myself. <laughs> so yeah, this will be my last week of putting things together. And yeah, I'm gonna just do it all today. <laughs> so the bassinet and stuff will be on this side, which is the side that I sleep on. So I'm gonna have to clear off, I don't know, maybe. Yeah, I'm gonna have to clear off my um, nightstand. That's my pregnancy pillow there. So I'm gonna move that and have this as the area for the baby. Okay, so the bassinet is set up. This is how it's looking, guys. I love it. Um, it came with the mattress. I was wondering if it did come with the mattress and if the mattress did come with it, if it came with a sheet on it already, which it does. It feels like it's waterproof on this side, and then it's like a soft uh, material on this side. I do have a second mattress cover that I bought uh, because I was unsure, but it's okay because... I would rather have more covers to change it out. But yeah, this is the swivel bassinet, so it can move all over the place. I said I'll leave it here for now until the baby comes and then I'll move it closer. And this actually goes down, so there's two buttons to release that. So it can, I don't know if you guys can kind of see. Yeah, and it's mesh, it's see-through, so you can see right through to the baby at night. So I also like the fact that there's a pocket on the side. So you can put whatever you need in there, like extra diapers or whatever extra stuff you want to put in there. And I also did the diaper genie over here. So it's just like that. Anyway, I'm going to set up the diaper baskets now. So I've, I've showed you guys this in the previous vlogs. I have um, a bedside basket that I'm going to keep a few diapers and stuff in. Then I have my postpartum basket. And then I have this diaper caddy that I'm going to have for the... Uh, living room so that I don't have to come running upstairs to do diaper changes and stuff I'll just have a few things in here ready to go to change the baby and then this one is for sure gonna go Right here for now. I'm just gonna put newborn diapers in there until they change into Size ones so I have a few in there. I'll probably put a little bit more right. Yeah, so that's good I'm also gonna put two burp cloths. I got these ones from Amazon. These are the I don't know what how to pronounce it, but muslin or mus muslin burp cloths they're really nice and they're not too big so you don't have to use a blanket or anything as your burp cloth so i'm gonna put two of those in there plus i'm also gonna put two extra onesies in here as well because you never know i'm also gonna put a pack of wipes in here and then some bibs and i'll also put a pacifier we don't really want to use the pacifier for the baby but in case they do like it or need it it's gonna be in here 
Okay, change of plans. I'm actually gonna put double the amount of diapers because since this is the living room one, I'm definitely not really gonna be going back and forth with this. So I have these two sections here with the diapers and then I'll put the wipes in here and the burp cloths along with the two extra onesies. And then I'll have two bibs in here too and the pacifier. So I think that's good. That's a little bit of a better setup to me. I think I should also put a diaper rash cream in here as well, but so far, this is what we got going on, and this will be downstairs. So this one, will, they'll pretty much have the same thing in there. The only thing is I won't have that much in this one. Like I said, this one is just for the bedside, so I can easily go to the guest room to refill and restock if I need to, but this is just for nighttime changes, not for like if I'm up here, I could just go into the guest room and do what I need to do. First thing, a few little diapers. These are um, newborns again because, of course, this is going to be for when they first come out. I have some wipes. These are the Hello Bella wipes. Um, same thing. I'm going to have two burp cloths in here as well. Two extra onesies. Two extra onesies because you never know. Burp cloth onesies. Also going to have two bibs in here just like the other basket. And then the pacifier. So the pacifier could just chill right there. Not too much in here. A few diapers, wipes. Um, the burp cloths, extra onesies, bibs, and pacifier just in case they're going to be a pacifier baby. So these two baskets are done and ready to go. I also just remember that I have a changing pad as well. So I'm going to put that in the caddy that's for downstairs. So I'm just going to pull it back up. And it can fit right into like, it can pretty much fit anywhere, but I'm going to put it in this side pocket here to be honest. So it is just in its own little section and out of the way. So yes, this will be for downstairs, changing pad and the things to change the diapers with. So yeah, so cute. And then next is gonna be my postpartum basket. I got this from Walmart. It's just like a regular little simple woven basket. In this basket, guys, I'm actually gonna be putting in some of my adult diapers. Now I have two types. Um, these are the ones that I said my brother's girlfriend gave to me. Thanks a lot, Nisha. And then I also got some from my friend Keisha as well, Nisha Keisha. So yeah, so they both gave me what they had left over. So I'm happy about that. So these are the Depends and then these are the Tenna. Another thing I got from Keisha is these Freedom Mom um, Instant Therapy Cold Pads. I've been hearing about these from a lot of moms, but there's only eight in a pack and it was 30, it's $30 for the pack, right? So I was like, oh, I'm not gonna buy it because I figured I would have needed more than um, the eight pack. But Keisha said that she only used two out of the pack. So maybe I won't use that. I'm, maybe I won't need as many as I thought I needed. But it's pretty cool because it's apparently it's like the ones that they give you at the hospital. And then you just break, like you snap it and then the whole pad gets cold. And yeah, you put it into the, the diaper. Anywho, so yeah, I hear that the hospital gives them to you, but these ones are, she said it's really good. Other than that, I do have these maxi pads here. I do see a lot of moms doing the trick where like the witch hazel and the, I think it's water and witch hazel or something and putting it in the freezer um, to kind of mimicking the effect of the ice pads. But it, she did bring up a good point that once you put these into the diaper, your body temperature is just gonna heat these back up anyway, so it's kind of temporary relief. Whereas these instant ice pads stay cold longer, so I'm not gonna really mess around with it too much in case I waste one. But yeah, so I'm so happy for that. Thank you so much, Keisha. I really appreciate it, girl. Okay, first I'm gonna put in these instant cool pads just because they are the biggest. So I just put two in there for now. And then beside that, I'm gonna put the diapers, the adult diapers. <laughs> I'm gonna be putting in some maxi pads as well, like that. Maybe not so many, just a few. I'm also gonna be putting in these Tux Witch Hazel pads. I'm gonna put that in there as well. I hear they come handy. I'm gonna put my prenatals in there too because I do plan on still taking these afterwards because I always hear that you should take your prenatals throughout until you're pretty much finished or else your hair is gonna fall out. I don't know if it's true, but I don't want my hair falling out, so I'm going to, um, continue on with those and to be honest nothing is wrong with having a little bit of extra vitamins in your system i'm also going to put these stool softeners in there as well these are not the ones i'm using i actually bought the wrong ones off amazon these are the ones that you have to insert 
So in case you're looking on Amazon and they look like this, these are the ones that you have to insert into your behind. And this is not what I want. So I'm just showing you guys that I will have a stool softener in here because you're going to need it. As you guys know, I'm going to be breastfeeding. So I'm going to be putting in these Lancino nursing pads. So I'm going to just rearrange that like that. So yeah, so this is pretty much how my postpartum basket is looking. This is going to be going into the bathroom. Okay, so everything's pretty much coming together. Um, I'm going to set up also this hatch sound machine. This will be at the night table as well. So I'm going to just set this up right now and put it there. I'm also going to have the diaper, not the diaper warmer, <laughs> the bottle warmer that I showed you guys in my last vlog as well at the bedside because... This is the perfect size. It's not gonna take up any space at my nightstand, so I'm happy about that. And then I'm gonna put the diaper caddy and all the caddies that need to go in their designated spots away. And I think that would be it for the baby's setup, right? The last thing I have to set up is the baby bajorn, but I'll do that after I finish the bedside. This was another item that we got from our registry. So I'm so excited for this because I hear a lot of moms talking about this sound machine, um, getting their babies to sleep in noise, which I do believe in because I don't want like a pin drop sleeper to be honest with you. I want to still be able to move around and they're not like startled. So if you guys are hearing a little bit of a noise in the background, it's the AC that's on because it's so hot in here. Oh, so cool. Okay. Can you guys hear it? And I think you could turn down the volume. I think this is volume one. Turn it up a little bit more. That was intense. It goes really loud. I don't know who needs it that loud for their baby, but it's actually so funny that when I turned it up, the baby started moving just now, so maybe they like it already. Oh, this one sounds like a dryer. Listen. This one sounds like rain. This one's birds chirping. This one sounds like crickets in the night. <laughs> There's a little lullaby there. Oh, look, it's changing in color. Oh! Anyways, I'm gonna turn that off. I'm gonna just control it from my phone, to be honest. That probably will be the easiest way. I'm also going to keep the baby's swaddle at the bassinet as well. I'm just gonna fold it up. So just gonna leave it in the side pouch here because why not? I'm only gonna use it when they're sleeping anyway. So I'm just gonna put it right in there. For the postpartum basket, I want to rest it above the toilet. But I might put it like, I don't know, like right here. I don't know. I don't know where I'm going to rest it. Maybe I'm just going to put it underneath the sink. Who knows? I'm going to figure it out. But for now, I'm going to just rest it right up here. So the last thing I'm going to set up is the baby Bajoran bouncer. And that will pretty much complete everything that I need to open up and set up. So I'm going to open this right now. I'm actually getting so tired. Can you believe it's five o'clock? Like I've been doing this all day. God. Oh, it's already set up, I guess. So it was actually easier than I thought. It's pretty much set up already. I didn't have to do anything except for take the plastic off. But this is the bouncer. There's three different levels on it. But you don't want to leave it on top of furniture. I just have it up here. So it's easier for me to set up. It is adjustable, but it's a bounce, like a self-bouncing bouncer. So yeah, they can sit in it. And I think when they get a little bit older, like it can go from zero to two years old. So they can use this as a chair after. It's easy to collapse and it will just go right under the bed, which I love, or go into a closet, which I love. Um, and when it's being used as a chair, you actually reverse the fabric. I'll show you the fabric on the back, but you reverse it and this will be the chair side. It's just, it'll be like that instead if you guys understand what I mean. But for now, for babies, you have to have them restrained. So it will be on this side for now. I'm thinking of putting it like right beside the bassinet. I'm not 100% sure yet. But I feel like I'll mostly use it downstairs. And I did add some stuff to the bassinet, teddy bear, and a little 
blankie you guys remember this blanket that i got from home sense it says so very loved so nice and it's a nice like material up here i actually put my lamp back and i put my candle back just to have a sense of normalcy up here <laughs> um and then the baby stuff is on this side this will be here temporarily i think i will bring it down into the living room when the time comes but right now i think i'm just gonna collapse it and put it like back there until the baby actually gets here because there's no point in me leaving this bouncer out for no reason in my room <laughs> so far this is what we're working with guys bassinet bedside caddy sound machine bottle warmer i put a little teddy bear in there just to put it in there so yeah if you guys watched my last vlog you saw everything else i got set up i also have this attachment piece for the bouncer my sister got this for me i had no idea that the bouncer even comes with an attachment piece for them to be like you know mentally stimulated so i'm gonna try to attach it and see because i didn't even know this was a option so they'll have something to do while they're in the bouncer it's so cool so that's pretty much everything for my nesting i don't have anything else baby related to do per se no i don't actually i have nothing else baby related to do that's everything i've set up everything bassinet bouncer everything you guys saw the last video as well i did the laundry for the baby um sanitized all the bottles that's pretty much everything that i have to do baby wise i don't think i have any more nesting stuff to do if i do i will include it in another video but my next few vlogs are just going to be about myself <laughs> so i'm just going to be doing a lot of self-care my next video i'm going to be getting my hair done my nails my toes i'm getting my lashes done i'm gonna get a wax i'm just it's just gonna be about me okay i'm 37 weeks right now 38 39 40 okay i have three more weeks to go but realistically i i'm ready for any day next video that you guys see i'm gonna be even closer to the baby being here if they don't come by my next video <laughs> anyways guys that is it for this video i hope you enjoyed and yeah see you guys in my next one bye